time. So for this one, it says that an insurance company must pay liabilities of 99 at one year, uh, 102 at the second year, and then 100 at the third year. Okay, so what's going to happen is that the only investments available to the company are the following three bonds. Okay, bond A and C are annual coupon bonds, and bond B is a zero coupon bond, which means that at B, there's only going to be one payment at time two, and no coupons are going to be distributed to even time one. So that is something to keep note of. And all three bonds have a par value of 100 and will be redeemed at par. Calculate the number of units of bond A that will be purchased to match the liabilities exactly. Okay, so this is, again, immunization by exact matching problem. And obviously, the number one rule for all these problems is that we always want to focus on the asset that has the longer duration so we can move backward, right? So now we see over here that the par value for all assets are 100, right? And so we see for bond C, the coupon rate is 5%. So we're going to do 100 times 5%, right? And then we're going to end up getting um, 5 as the coupon value occurring every year, whereas the redemption value would be 105. Right. So now, since the redemption of 105 will be occurring at time three, where the liability of 100 is occurring, we want to figure out how much of bond C that we need to use to finance uh, the $100 liability. So we do that by doing 100 over 105, right? Now we're going to uh, define both of these numbers and we're going to get 0.95238, right? Now that means that at year three, 100, the $100 liability will only require 0.95238 of bond C. Correct, which means that if we only needed it to finance 100, we know that there are only five units left of um, bond C, right? So we're gonna take that five units and we're gonna multiply it by what we received here, right? To figure out what's really left. Of bond C, and we're gonna do five times 0.95238. We're gonna get 4.707619. Okay, so since this is a three year bond, that means that um, this amount of coupon is gonna be left throughout the distribution from years one to two, right? So, um, again, we know we already used 100, the $5 coupon is left. So uh, bought, um, the year three liability already used up uh, 0 0.95238 of it. And now we want to figure out how much of the $5 coupon is left for four years, one to two, right? So moving on, we see that bond B is not a, uh, it doesn't have a coupon. It's a zero coupon bond. So no coupon is going to be happy happening in year one. Another thing to take note of is that um, it's just relying on a par value of 100, right? So now what we're going to do here is that, well, first and foremost, we're going to distribute this coupon to finance 102 because this is a three-year coupon, right? So we're going to do 102 minus 4.7619. Right. And then we're going to get 97.23. One, right? 
Now, what's happening here is that once we get that out of the way, then we're gonna we're able to see that this uh, asset is only able to finance one hundred dollar par, right? So we're gonna figure out how much of bond of the second year liability is gonna take from bond B, right? So we're gonna do we're gonna solve this. So the the second liability only needs ninety point ninety seven twenty three of bond B, right? Now, yeah. So now let's move on to bond C. No, bond A, right? So again, we have a liability of 99 at year one. Again, we need to distribute this coupon to 99 as well, right? So 99 minus 4.7619, right? So 99 minus 4.7619, we're gonna get 94. Point two three eight one left, right? Now we want to find out how much of this liability is gonna now need of bond A. So the coupon right here is seven percent, right? So we're gonna do one hundred times seven percent, and since it's a one only one year coupon, the redemption right away immediately happens there. So we're gonna use one oh seven to finance it. So we're gonna see how much of the ninety four point twenty three one is needed of the one oh seven. So we're gonna do 94.2381 divided by 107 and then we're going to get 0.8807 which will be the final answer.